This art lesson is inspired by the art and life of Martin Ramirez, a self-taught artist who created prolific artworks that were escapes from his life of confinement. Art techniques that Ramirez uses in his work are dividing the page and adding borders, the repetition of shape, parallel lines, also known as contour lines, either straight or curved, value and shading, and finally, creating his own collaged paper. I'm inspired by this quote of Linda Berry's, we don't create a fantasy world to escape reality, we create it to be able to stay. Where do you go to get away in your mind? Where do you escape to? What kind of imagery is there that you enjoy? Here's my example of where I go to get away. The materials that you need are pretty basic. I started off by using pencil and a book as a ruler, as a straight edge. Um, I started off by creating a border and then taking a Sharpie and going over my lines so that they're nice and dark. Martin Ramirez uses a lot of bold line. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use any kind of dark marker or pen. Then I divided my page using shapes so that then I could go in and fill here with contour lines for this is a supposed to be a kayak. Then I added some reeds, mimicking some of the shapes that I had seen in Martin Ramirez's artwork, um, really filling in and repeating that shape that I had started. So to keep with the shape repetition, I added lily pads and then added more contour lines, first by outlining them and then filling in that whole space so that there was no negative space, everything kind of taken up with lines. Then I went in with colored pencils. Um, I encourage you to use a limited color palette here. You don't need a lot of colors, just even a little bit will do. And finally, I added value for the boat. Um, when you're adding value or shading, sometimes it can be helpful to turn the page like you saw I just did to get a better angle for your hand. It makes it a little bit easier for that. Then I varied my line width by using a black colored pencil to add some more texture and detail in there and added more value in those uh, flowery reed type uh, shapes, whatever those are. Um, then I wanted to, to really fill those shapes of the border that I had created, so I used the side of my book as a straight edge to create some more parallel lines and chose a shape and repeated it for the border. It's as easy as that. Even something just like a square or an organic shape repeated can give a lot of visual impact. Then filling those with lines and this really causes your eye to move around the page. You can see that things are starting to get connected here and um, these patterns and this repetition is taking your eye in lots of directions. Um, then I use the side of the book again for those thinner lines with my colored pencil and I encourage you that this does take time. This is repetitive. This is meditative. So really enjoy the process here of being precise, of doing these lines, of these shapes, of filling the entire surface, because in the end, it will pay off. Here I used a pencil as a straight edge. It didn't work out quite as well as the book, but it gave me the ability to see where I was uh, holding my straight edge which was helpful. So if you want to use a pencil, even that would work in a pinch. And Martin Ramirez, when he was living in confinement, didn't have a, a, a wide variety of art materials, so he was inventive. He used what he had for straight edges. He even made his own paper. So I encourage you, use what you have. You don't need fancy art materials to make art. So as you're moving about your piece, you might feel indecisive. I encourage you, if you have one of these shapes, for example, like the sky, just apply one of Martin Ramirez's strategies. So I chose value here. So I'm holding my pencil really loosely for this larger area, which really helps. And I'm going slowly and uh, you, know, you can go a little bit darker and quicker with some of the small spaces, but really try to think about how you can fill each and every corner of your page either by repeating a shape, by adding value, by adding lines, all of these things will really add to your piece. So value is a range of light to dark, and you also have to change your pressure as you shade, as you create value, from 
hard pressure to soft pressure. So the key is getting that, those transitions and I encourage you to hold your pencil really lightly and pay attention to the pressure that you're adding. You can always add more pressure. Here I'm going in with a blue pencil to blend over my purple. And I'm going really, really slow, even though it's sped up here. Um, that can help you with getting those gradations blended really well. I hope you enjoy exploring the conceptual themes as well as the technical art strategies of this project inspired by Martin Ramirez. My example shows how dividing the page, repeating shape, using parallel contour lines, shading in value, and a piece of found paper can convey an idea about escaping to a place, whether that's real or imagined.